ओके तो लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड लास्ट क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट व्हाट इज टेराफॉर्म एंड सो व्हाट इज द व्हाट इज सम बेसिक कमेंट्स एंड सो व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ टेराफॉर्म एंड ऑल वी कैन डिस्कस राइट एनीवन एनी डाउट हैसडे क्लास कैन यू सी माय स्क्रीन visible or not yes sir visible okay now today we'll see yesterday we discuss right uh, so what is terraform and uh, what is what and what is some basic advantages and all and uh, you know right uh, so how to what is in it command how it will work so terraform is so usually this is the one type of tool if you want to build a changing and versioning infrastructure so you know right uh, so we have many cloud environments uh, correct uh? so we have aws cloud we have gcp cloud we have ibm cloud we have many clouds right so uh, ibm cloud ibm ibm cloud and uh, so next uh, gcp this is a uh, gcp google cloud next uh, oracle cloud these are the cloud right so these are the clouds these are the cloud so if you want to create a infrastructure now as of now in aws you know how to create a infrastructure manually now you know how to create ec2 how to create subnet how to create a so vpc those and all i don't want to create manually i want to create with the help of terraform terraform is a ios infrastructure as code tool so all our last class we discuss right all our last class we discuss right what is terraform and how it will terraform is a infrastructure as code iac simply we are calling iac tool iac means infrastructure as code tool that users manage and provisioning cloud infrastructure if you want to create any cloud not only aws if you want to create gcp or if you want to create a you know right ibm cloud or any cloud it allows users to describe infrastructure in code and you can manage and you can be man, uh, used to manage infrastructure access public cloud private cloud whatever it may be so that case mostly we should go for terraform so terraform uses uh, you know right there is many plugins and mostly that hcl corporate hc corporation developed and with the help of we are going to so create your entire infrastructure so these are the hasi corporation this is the company provided by terraform these people they developed an infrastructure code tool and define same whatever you want to discuss it and how it will work this is the terraform and these are the providers we are going to configure provider provider is nothing but uh, you know right uh, i am going to write one script i want to create infrastructure in aws cloud so i want to create infrastructure in aws cloud so we need to you know right mention right which provider so there is a one block is available provider and uh, so here uh, so under provider we are going to mention which provider you want to create infrastructure if we, if i mention aws here means now what is the provider here this is the aws suppose no no i want to connect with gcp now that case we are going to provider name gcp so like this uh, gcp g uh, gcp so gcp like this we are going to configure uh, so multiple providers we are going to configure multiple providers so this is the provider we will see how it will work so now today we are going to see so how to set up how to set up terraform and all and uh, how it will work so these are the first we are write the code terraform infrastructure in the configuration files next we are going to plan plan means review the changes terraform it will make your infrastructure finally we are going to do the so terraform apply command terraform provi uh, provisioner so your infrastructure and the update in the state file update in the state file so now first how to set up terraform so this is very simple guys already you know right how to set java how to set maven how to set uh, so this is same you know right java installation 
and uh, Mavan. Next, uh, what you know? Jenkins. You know, right? So, Jenkins. Same way. So, if you want to, so Terraform. First, you need to download the download the exe file download the exe file same so if you where we are setting path guys java path environment variable environment variable same first step go to here first if you want to uh, configure terraform first download the terraform first step download 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 the so terraform terraform file okay so now this is it will come mostly zip file only it will come only zip file only okay now go to here browser go to browser here download download just type terraform so these are the official website guys see here asi corporation developer asi corporation by terraform by asi whatever you want to click on this is official only click on anyone and uh, so first one click on this now see here and uh, so this is the mac related uh, file if you want to install mac this is the commands we need to copy and paste execute in our mac os suppose if you are in windows operating system right so that is 32 bit operating system this one and this is the 64 bit operating system which is the latest version 1.9 terraform this is the latest version 1.9 and uh, so now if it is linux mission if you are work with linux these are the we need to execute these three commands and uh, so these are the basic only see based on your operating system we can select anyone based on your operating system we can select uh, so anyone so right now i am in windows right go to windows go to windows click on which one you want 32 bit or 64 bit i need 64 bit download now see here downloaded if we click on here so now see here this is the click on here uh, show the folder so see here this is the zip file see here this is a zip file now what you need to do once download is done now extract the file now uh, second one is uh, we need to extract extract the extract zip file that's it now set the path in environment variable same story that's it so set the path in environment variables now copy this file i keep it anywhere that is your wish anywhere copy this and uh, so copy keep somewhere anywhere that is your wish wherever you want and uh, go to here already i keep my all files here mm, softwares under softwares uh, just to paste it just to paste it now uh, so uh, once that is done uh, just extract it just uh, extract it so right click uh, which version we are using 1.1 1 .1 already available and which is the latest one 1.9.7 this is the latest version just extract it it will create one more folder i hope everyone know once this is done once this is done once extracted and copy this for example already 6.6 .6 already i set up so copy this path copy this path which version you want just copy that particular path go to windows and right click go to properties go to properties go to environment variable env environment edit environment variables click on environment variables and uh, so here uh, so we need to add that path okay we need to add this click on edit now here we can see we can see somewhere that terraform path see here already here available right 1.6 which version i am using 1.6 which is the latest version already this is a bit old only i am using uh, so 1.6 1.66 and latest is uh, 1.9.7 this is the latest version so whatever you want uh, so we can use it see here 1.6.6 this is the old version and uh, so latest version is 1.9 uh, that's it whatever you want we can use it no problem once you set the path once you set the path this is same story only now how to check whether it is working fine or not open command prompt cmd 
open command prompt and how to check the versions guys for example i want to check java version how we are checking java version yeah. hmm. same java, java iphone iphone version fan the git smart and uh, so if you type means i need to check uh, so same way terraform version i want to check uh, so terraform so terraform space iphone iphone version what is type error right terraform terra terraform terraform iphone iphone version now see here so terraform iphone iphone version that's it So now everything working fine. That's it. Installation is very simple only. Okay. Terraform. Terraform. Uh, so if you use command, if you use Terraform, now it will display the all Terraform commands. See here, init command, valid command, plan command, apply command, destroy command. Now we are going to discuss all these commands. So now setup is done. Anyone any doubt here? Set environment variables. That's it. Now how to check? Terraform, 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 iPhone, iPhone version. That's it. Clear? Yes or no? Anyone any doubt? What else is clear? Sandhashakar. So this is the, so this, that's it. So download, extract the file, set the environment variable. And uh, so once that is set, now Terraform, iPhone, iPhone version. Clear. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so now we will see practically how it will work. If you use Terraform, means uh, see here, these are the main commands, all other commands. Now, see here, global option settings and all we can set. Already last class we discussed, right? What is Terraform plan? Terraform plan means show changes required by the current configuration. And what is init command? See, prepare your uh, working directory for other commands. Validate, checks whether the configuration is valid or not. What is apply? Create and update your infrastructure. Destroy means destroy the previously created infrastructure. These are the basic commands. So these are the most we are using these commands. And apart from this, so based on requirement, we are going to use these commands. We are going to use these commands. Okay, now we'll see one by one. Okay, now so first come to here. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, anywhere, somewhere. Um, I'm going to use D drive, D drive, and uh, I'm going to use um, material. I'm going to create one folder. Where is my folder? Okay, I'm going to create here. Uh, so uh, create one folder. Folder name is this is uh, what is this? Mm, August, right? Last August, October, September, right? SCP. For just I'm giving a Terraform. Terraform batch. Okay. Now, so here, uh, now I'm going to create uh, one file. So now here major some of files we need to create. There is one block available. There is a one block. So now see here first I'm going to add. Uh, so this one next we'll see. Now I go to here. Where is I created folder here, right? So go to here. Okay. CMD. Now first I want to connect with the so provider. Which provider right now I am using guys? Which provider I want to connect? Which provider? AWS. AWS, correct. So first I need one username password, right? So how to create a username password? First we'll see. Later we'll come to Terraform. So if you want to connect, so AWS provider, first we need one credential, right? Without credential, how I can connect? One second.
now I need to go to connect with the AWS, right? I need to connect with the AWS. Skip now. So now, usually I am connect with the root user. So I am connect with the which user here I connected? Root user, right? How I know root user? So while click on the here, I connect to root user. Now if you want to see any credentials and all, go to security credential or we can go for IAM. I need also access key and secret key. You know, right? IAM. In IAM, for every user, we have one access key and secret key, right? So now see here. So if you want to create a access key, so use access key to send programmatic calls, whatever you want. So already they are using create access key and secret key, and we can understand here how it will work. Already, or else, you know, right? IAM. See here identity and access management how to create users and how to create a group and all i want to connect now i am in windows mission right now i am in windows mission correct so here i am going to run my script terraform script so i am in the windows mission this is a windows and here i set up terraform here i have set up uh, so terraform terraform software now i am going to execute my script here now this is the cloud this is the cloud this is the cloud aws cloud correct so this is the aws cloud this is the so aws uh, aws cloud now how my terraform script connect with the aws we need credential right Yes or no? I am in Windows mission. Now I want to connect my AWS. Now I am not going to connect like this. I am not going to connect like this. This is a GUI mode, right? But this is my script. Here my script is available. My script want to connect with AWS. So for this we need, which one we need credential? Credential means? Without credential, how we can connect? We need username, password, right? Now I am connecting here. Uh, so here I am connected my username. This is my username. And uh, so I have password. I logged in, right? Same way I need one more. Same way I need one more. So now if you want to create uh, so access key and secret key. So this is the path. Go to your account settings. Click on security credentials. Click on security credentials. And uh, so if you go here. So there is a one option. Create. Create access key and secret key this is one way or else first create one user i am going to give some permissions already this user is available i am going to delete i don't want this and all delete you know right how to create user and all delete password change last year store us are active okay whatever you want we can delete it i am going to create a already two hours ago there someone is used okay i am going to create one new user create new user uh, terraform user terraform user. just i am giving a terraform user and uh, so here these are the optionals. These are the optionals. Now here we know right which uh, which permission you want to give. So this is the one way. Or else directly we can already if you have username password. <coughs> directly go to here. Click on credential. Leave it. And directly I am going to download my access key and secret key. That's it very simple. But admin level I am going to work with admin level. So create access and secret key understand just create access and secret key just download access and secret key that's it. So now see here this is the root user. This is the root user. I downloaded uh, so access key and secret key see here this is my access key and this is my secret key. Now come to our Terraform this is I am in Windows and this is the AWS already here I logged into one user. I logged into one user root user that is right for root user I downloaded uh, so access key and secret key this is the access key and secret key I downloaded 
wait this is the access key access key and secret key are downloaded secret key are downloaded now come to our terraform script how it will work now <coughs> if you go here so now first understand uh, so go to ground aws and uh, terraform block so if you click on terraform block so these people they are providing uh, so like this this is the black this is the terraform so, so amazon web services provider interact with the many resources supported by aws you must configure provider with the proper credential before you can use it so if you want to if you want to connect with if i want to connect with my cloud aws right there is uh, this is the one block terraform block this is the required providers which provider i am using aws so now i am copying same thing only i am copying same thing here terraform is very simple guys no need to remember everything everything provided by terraform people and just uh, copy and paste it first time but uh, best practice just try to type manually and then we can understand now i am go to here this is a folder right just create one folder notepad one file notepad i am using uh, so notepad provider provider dot tf so what is the extension what is the extension we can give any name here but our understanding purpose i am giving provider tf so now see here yes now this is the syntax provider provider and uh, so double quotation open flower bracket close flower get and uh, here access key access key equal to and uh, secret key secret key equal to next region which region you want to connect so these are the mandatory fields guys so this and all suppose if you don't know just google it uh, they will provide see here this is the region which region you want where you want to create where you want to create now see here i am using uh, this is my region this is my this is my region us east us east one now check it where i am in us east one or uh, where you want to create where is my cloud so i am in uh, which region i am in which region go to here i am in uh, virginia so us east one suppose if you want to this is virginia correct only suppose if you want to mumbai we need to use ap south east one and uh, asia pacific uh, so this is sydney whatever you mumbai right ap south one ap south one anyway whatever you want we can give it now i am giving even now what is access key and secret key what is access key and secret key already i downloaded right already i downloaded it right? so this is my access key this is my access key now see here now and what is my secret key this is my secret key without access key secret key can i connect my cloud aws cloud Hmm? Yes. No. So that is, and my provider name is AWS. This is very simple. This is a provider. Provider means which cloud you want to connect. I am going to connect AWS. Suppose if we have GCP, we can use GCP. For GCP, for GCP connection, we have username, password, right? We can use that one. That's it. For example, if you are Oracle, IBM, we can use IBM. This is. So now I am using AWS, right? now there is a one provider block so now go to here where is that one provide uh, this is the terraform block so here see this is the terraform block just i am copying and paste this is not mandatory and if you want to we can use it now if you go here so terraform required providers which name i given here aws suppose if i give here aws1 means this is the alias name guys here also we need to give aws1 now got it you got it so this is the aws whatever name we want to give we can give pass it here same name we have to pass it here now this is the source 
as a corporation this is the aws and which provider you are going to connect which cloud aws cloud and what is the version which version you are using which version this is the terraform black version 5.0 so anyway we'll see later so we'll see later what is terraform black and how it will work this is the alias name this is the required providers see here the name itself we can understand required providers which provider you want to connect the aws provider and uh, so this is the alias name whatever name we want we can give any name here but anyway we are going to give a proper name so here i given aws here also we need to provide aws that's it now this is the source so hasi corporation this is the aws this is the default path only just copy and paste it apart from this no need to do anything that's it now this is aws this is the access key and this is the secret key this is the secret key okay anything missing now so provider block so here also see here uh, region they are giving aws and region version okay that's it there is many ways we can configure and uh, so aws aws provider provider access access key and secret in terraform so now see here aws underscore key and uh, so secret underscore key this is the syntax so for our understanding uh, so i given how we are giving means uh, so somewhere also they can use see here i given ransom right access underscore key not so what is this here access underscore key and this is the syntax secret underscore key that's it secret underscore key not continuation sorry this is okay now save it so now see here now save it so this is the provider provider name aws access key this is my access key and this is my secret key and this is my region which region you want to create so us east one us east one that's it save it file save now after saving now what is the first command guys already yesterday we discussed right now dir do you have anything here no right only one file undi mix see here only mic tf file maatrame kanvistundi now i am going to here terraform terraform init command so interval also many people they are asking this question what is terraform init command so terraform init means anyone guess it guys terraform init mm -hmm. initialize uh, it is downloading the related provider plugin what is terraform init so it will download related cloud that is related uh, so cloud plugin see here if you use init command terraform init command prepares working directory for terraform by downloading and installing necessary models and plugins settings that related to so cloud so now see here i given terraform init command so initializing provider plugin which plugin it is downloaded provider plugin here what is my provider name who is your my provider aws, AWS. so aws related plugin it is downloaded this and all no need to do everything taking care by via internet only now see here asi corporation aws what is the version i am using a terraform block right 5.71 and installed 5.71 and uh, so everything terraform has created log file also we'll see later this and all that's it now see here dir see there is a one for one directory is created dot terraform go to the directory cd space dot terraform dir okay now dir now see here there is a providers there is a providers see cd space and uh, so which cloud uh, related plugin it is downloaded which cloud registry dot terraform dot io cd space registry dot terraform dot io dir now see here so terraform asi corporation cd space dir 
now see here what is this provider aws right go to this aws if you want to see there now see here which version 5.7 same in my year whatever i configure same thing see here here I given uh, so this means it will take uh, 5.0 means latest version it will pick it 5.7 it is downloaded cd space 5.7 it is downloaded dar and see here which I am using windows or linux windows. linux windows. windows suppose if you are configure linux means here we can see linux suppose if you configure mac means here we can see mac os so cd space windows so dar dear now see here so these are the exe files see here this is the exe file so enter also many people they are asking so what is terraform minute command terraform minute command means it will download it will download related provider plugin so which cloud whether it is gcp or aws whatever it may be i hope you got it right Arvinda? anyone any doubt Suppose if you are using GCP, GCP related plugin, it will download. Now I mean configure AWS, right? AWS related plugin, it downloaded. Got it? So these are the Terraform. This is the Terraform block required providers. Which provider I need? AWS provider. So even if you are not giving, it will work. So I am commenting. This is not mandatory. But best practice, we are using this one. So this is the star. See here. I am using now see here even if I use a terraform init command terraform init command now see here already it is downloaded right now see here already downloaded it will work but this is not mandatory but best practice we are using uh, so this and all real time we are using this version and all which provider we are using we want to know right so this is the alias name this is the alias name alias name means we can give any name for example here i am giving one here i am giving one and here also we need to give one so for example here i am using gcp so here also we need to use which one gcp now got it guys anyone any doubt here this is the alias name but default both should be match default both should be match default both should be match i hope you got it right Sir, no. Hello. Clear. So these are the Terraform required provider, and these are the mains. What is the provider? AWS. What is the access key? Secret access key and secret key. Which region? Which region? That's it. So now, so now I connected that plugin also downloaded. Okay. Now what is the second command? Yesterday we discussed, right? validate command terraform validate what is validate guys so first if you use terraform means now we can see here terraform minute command prepare your working directory for other commands it will download it will download that particular related plugin that particular related plugin provider related plugin i hope you got it right now validate command check whether the configuration file is valid or not now i am using validate command see here terraform validate terraform validate validate so if you use this command so now see here this is the deprecated uh, required version uh, so this is the line number 4 uh, this is the see here aws1 i given right aws not saved uh, file save file save now see here now see here valid uh, configuration is valid earlier it is showing warned see a uh, duplicated required provider see there is a duplication so i am giving aws one here but in terra provider block i given aws so these are not matched it is throwing uh, some warning message see here provider tool aws one has uh, implicitly required via the configuration block aws the provider configuration block name must match with the name used in the required provider now error also it is throwing right warning message so both should be whatever name you are providing this should match with the this provider name also 
okay suppose if you give any wrong name we will get this uh, message see here Ma must match the same used the required provider name provider configuration black name must match with the name used in the required provider name also this is the one thing now valid see here uh, configuration is valid for example by mistakenly i given wrong syntax i removed uh, so double quotation double quotation i remove double quotation now i am using terraform validate command now see here it is throwing see here invalid invalid multi line string see provider tf dot line number 14 and you missed something you missed something see here see first first come to here where is that error here right invalid line this is the uh, first line line number 11 and we need to see quoted uh, quoted strings may not be split over multiple lines so error also it is throwing hey you missed some quotation it is throwing like uh, you missed some quotation just check it like this it is throwing i hope you got it right the this item is not valid in the string literal you are passing something but this item is not valid this item is not valid so now what we missed now we can understand right i missed here something so for example i given access access uh, i removed underscore i removed underscore now see here if you write any terraform script we need to use validate command we need to use validate command so terraform terraform validate if i use validate command now see here i missed while running uh, it is throwing error message while running it is throwing error message it is not saved validation is it is saved or not i don't know so it will come uh, so this one for example is this and all uh, quotations right while running time it will throw error message i will show you that one also okay so this is the validate command see invalid quotation and all now next command what is next command now we know what is init command now we know what is validate command what is next command Man. so yesterday we discussed a total of four right one is terraform terraform init init means it will download that related plugin next terraform validate it is checking the syntax errors and all next terraform plan plan now finally terraform terraform apply last command terraform destroy but don't use this one don't use this one only we are using this one only now go to here now i am using plan see here cls terraform plan now i'm using terraform plan so right now i don't have any plan just i connected with my aws only just i connected with my aws only so right now i don't have see your infrastructure matches the configuration terraform has compare your real infrastructure against your configuration wow no differences no changes just i connected do we have anything here no now i am going to create one ec2 instance so if you want to create ec2 instance what is the prerequisites guys anyone i want to create one ec2 instance just tell me mandatory Yeah, uh, so go to here now see here go to here where is this aws this one right so go to dashboard and I click on ec2 instances ec2 click on instances and click on launch instance so what is the mandatory so here we are selecting right this is the which ami you want whether we want uh, so linux image or whatever you want next uh, instance type and key pair this and all connection purpose these all are not mandatory so these two are the mandatory this two is the mandatory see here same thing now if you go to here i am using provider right there is a one resource block now i hope everyone understand right what is terraform provider block anyone any doubt here so even if you type aws provider provider terraform so terraform if you use a terraform means uh, this is the 
provider <laughs> interact with the many resources supported by aws you must configure provider with the proper credentials before you can use it already this is done now there is a one resource bracket very very important aws resource aws resource in terraform if you use a so this is the resource block so this is the resource block so this is the main so resources are the most important element in the terraform language resource means now i need to create one ec2 instance here ec2 is the resource here ec2 is the one resource whatever you want i want to create some vpc i want to create some subnet so if you want to create any resource any uh, aws resource in terraform these people they are providing one block resource block see here this is the resource block the resource are the most important element in the terraform language each resource block describes one or more infrastructure objects such as virtual networks ec2 high level such as dns whatever you want whatever you want so these are the resource block if you click on resource block this is the syntax this is the syntax resource resource block declares the resource of the specific type specific local name we can give resource resource block name and this is your local name ami id and instance type that's it see here so this resource resource syntax we need to get instance aws underscore instance resource type is name of your uh, instance type and ami is this is your uh, which which mission you want to and within the curly place this is the open flower bracket and this is a closing flower bracket so only two is mandatory what is mandatory ami and instance type just copy and paste it i am not going to do anything only for practice right so see here this is very very important if you want to create any aws resource this is a resource block this is the name and this is the local name we can give for example ec2 instance ec2 underscore test i am giving ami while creating ami means what is ami now manually we are selecting one ami right so here we need to select your ami now i selected which ami see here linux mission and this is my ami so for every uh, operating system there is one ami number just copy that number see here right side ami this is the ami amazon mission so 06b21 and all right copy this one copy this one copy this one and paste it here paste it where is my script just to paste it here okay paste it here and uh, what is instance type which instance type you want guys which instance type see here this is t2 micro free tier right so i am also using t2 micro t2 micro already available okay so t2 micro enough for me that's it anyone any doubt here so for this block what is the purpose provider block what is the use of this one to connect with aws sir aws sir now what is this block resource block here i given two parameters right two attributes i passed ami and instance type here i am going to create one aws ec2 instance aws ec2 instance remaining and all optional we will see one by one so this is the very very important resource block is the most important block so these are the specify the type and specify the local name so this is my local name so here we can give any name here we can give any name and this is the resource resource name aws underscore instance aws underscore instance and this is your local name and this is ami this is my ami and this is the instance type t2 micro that's it okay now check it how it will work now go to here and uh, what is the first command guys terraform init already i use right terraform init command so every time no need if you anything modified we can 
next command we need to validate we need to validate so terraform validate if you have any errors and all it will show if everything working fine no problem so now see here success the configuration is valid now before that uh, i am go to here see here so coming to here open duplicate also where is duplicate and click on ec2 so any instance is created running or not just check it there is many instance available here now go to instances and uh, already stopped right running instance i don't have any running instance okay now i'm using uh, so next command terraform terraform plan i'm using plan now see here what is plan you know right plan means it is showing so what we are going to create see here this is the plan plan equal to 1 to add 0 to change and 0 to destroy now what we are going to add see here ami this is my ami see this is my ami and this is the and uh, so this is the instance type here plus plus means uh, adding plus plus means adding remaining and all i give an empty only remaining and all i give an empty only so this is the known after apply known after apply means uh, if you click apply only we can get know the details okay one to add see if you don't use out option also use and all now this is the one to add now this is a security group so known to apply by default which security group it is coming we don't know and this alara once if you give apply then only we can understand now anyway here i given only two right now finally we give apply command apply means now we are going actual resources terraform apply terraform apply if you give apply command now it is going to create it is going to create actual resource this is the only plan guys plan means uh, we are going to create like this suppose if you don't want it is asking a confirmation message also do you want to prepare these actions no means it won't create anything now i'm giving yes now i'm going to give yes now see here now see here create aws underscore instance creating what it is going to do guys it is connected to aws and it is connecting it is creating one instance it is creating one instance what is my instance ami id this is my instance ami id and this is a t2 micro now see here so see one to add zero to change zero to destroy now see here instance is created instance is created check it whether it really is created or not now go to here just refresh it now see here instance is creating or not what's under sacker clear so this is the greatness of uh, so terraform so manually what we are going to do in cloud everything we can do we can implement with the help of terraform also automation now we know manually how to create instance and all now we know manually how to create instance and all same thing i am going to implement via script only that's it so this block this provider block only for connection checking whether this user id is with the help of access key secret key, we are able to connect with aws cloud or not once we are connected and this is the resource block resource block and aws underscore instance we can give local name alias name we can give any name and what is the ami id whether you want linux or ubuntu or mac os or windows os whatever and what is the instance type so simply i give one i created one instance how simple see check it here i hope you understand right anyone any doubt clear yes or no yes, okay now same thing i want to remove so for example uh, you created infrastructure i want to delete this infrastructure how we are deleting guys now i created instance so now i created instance right i created instance so where is this this is the instance is running if you want to remove this instance 
how we can delete it select the instance next uh, anyone I want to delete this instance I don't want this one hmm what is the option how to delete this instance go to here action action state instance state state and terminate correct so now if you want to terminate anything with the help of terraform there is a one command what is that command terraform destroy command terraform destroy but don't use destroy command don't use in real time if you use terraform destroy means whichever we created in our cloud everything it will delete here one more doubt you have doubt right so delete out i and delete out i only which resource you created via terraform only suppose i created one more instance manually even you delete out now you could see if you see here there is many instances even you delete out i only which our i this one only deleted anyone guess it if i use terraform destroy command it will delete all these things are only this one that one only this one because only this instance is created by terraform script correct so these all are created manually someone is created it won't touch anything so if you use terraform destroy command if you use terraform destroy command so me script dwara me a resource lo the create chestuntaro it will delete only that resources it will delete only that resources apart from this it won't do anything see here AWS underscore instance. See here. So if you want to delete, if you give yes, do you want to destroy? Want to destroy? I don't want. No. If you want to delete, yes. Why yes? If you don't want, no. See here. I am giving yes. So no need to do manually. Now via script only. I deleted destroying. Destroying means removing, deleting. now see here still is destroying now go to here go to here just refresh it now we can understand now see here so see terminated 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 means so i terminated i terminated my instance via terraform only only this should be terminated remaining and all uh, so it is available remaining and all it is available so anyone any doubt guys i hope you got it right so now you know right uh, so what is terraform so this is the provider provider means with the help of access key secret key we are connecting here this is a region name which region you want to connect which region you want to create we need to mention region name so suppose if you want to mumbai region update here and if you want to connect other username we need to update here this is the one way and uh, so there is one more concept profile also is there we'll see later profile okay this is the resource is the main block with the help of resource we can create anything see here resource is the most important element in the terraform language each resource block describes one or more infrastructure object such as vm machines networks and whatever you want we can create with the help of resource block only so now resource block declares resource of the specific type and specific uh, local name specific type means here i am using uh, so instance right suppose if you want to create a subnet so there is a aws underscore subnet if you use uh, it will come aws underscore subnet aws underscore subnet see here terraform so this is the so aws underscore subnet see here see aws underscore subnet this is the local name what about this name this is the local name what about this name see here specify the specific local name terraform use the name when referring to the resource in the same model so name of the specific type this is a specific type which type you want i need subnet this is a specific type this is the local name 
and you know right remaining and all uh, these are same only these are the same only for example i need uh, what we need type specific type i want to vpc so aws underscore vpc vpc see this is a specific type so here this is a specific type this is the local name cac dot block okay you know this is the tenancy default this is the tag name this is the tag name and all so in the script if you want to we can add tag also if you want to we can add tag also so if you create any instance if you need tag this is the syntax tag okay and the tag name we can give any name whatever name we can give so name equal to we can give any name name equal to for example uh, so test instance you see to whatever you want we can give it i hope you got it right this is the tag so this is the tag so this is the tag name so tag name means uh, if you go here these people already they use a term tag name right so if you go here this is the tag name this is the tag name see here docker they are using tag right so now here i am creating one instance etc instance for this instance whatever you want we can add it this is the tag name 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 we can give any name we can give any name we can give any name clear guys anyone any doubt what's under sector as is clear what is yes, provider sir. provider is the we can give provider and this is a resource block okay this is the resource block that's it